Hello everyone, Professor Matt Crab is here and welcome back to another Forest Stone episode. Today is episode 52 and in today's episode, I'm gonna show to all of you another very cool piston door for you guys. So, let's get jump right into today's episode. Now, I don't have a really good name for this piston door, but I will gonna name this the middle glass block. 3 by 3 volt door. So as you can see, we have a volt door with the middle block is a uh, glass block. In this case, it is tinted glass, a very cool looking block indeed. And as you can see, uh, well, this is a little bit hard to see. Give me a second. Yeah, that is much better. As you can see, it is completely seamless you can't see any uh, piston or like any redstone components sticking out from the piston door so that means from yeah when it's uh, closed when it, the piston door is closed like this you can't see any uh, yeah redstone components around but when you uh, yeah open the piston door like this you sort of see yeah you can sort of see some well the, the well you can only see uh, these three blocks uh, the, the those blocks are the uh, low stone uh, they cannot stick to slam block because yes this piston door does use slam block here I uh, don't like using slam block but if I don't use slam block this piston door will be a lot more complicated because well you need a triple piston extender up top here in order to push all of the block uh, all of the blocks in the middle down to here so yeah as you can see even uh, when it is open, the glass uh, block here doesn't show any sort of rest of components like that. You can only see the uh, block, uh, yeah, the floor block or like the piston door block um, being exposed by the glass block, which is very nice. And I built it like this so you then don't have to look at this block because, yeah, as you can see here you don't really paying attention to uh, the top of the piston door so it's not that distracting and also with this glass block here your eye yeah, your eyes will be uh, direct down to here to the glass block because it looks interesting but yeah anyways that is how to uh, yeah, how the piston door opens uh, let's uh, watch it again so this is when it closed, it is very fast and it is also very cool as well. You don't see anything, uh, yeah, any restaurant components uh, being exposed by the glass block. And another cool thing about this piston door is that it is two sides. So if you build this piston door on one side, you can replicate it on the other side like that so it is very compact too it is only three wide as you can see it is a little bit chunky i have to admit that but all of the rest zone has been optimized to fit into the piston layout apart from uh, these yeah apart from these uh, column of rest zone because we need space for the block in the middle yeah as you can see the iron blocks in the middle next to the glass so we need uh, to cover that because if not there would be a yeah, air block there and you can see some rest of the components sticking out but yeah overall a very compact piston door and it is also very fast too the opening is a little bit slow because um, we need to um, wait 
for this triple piston extender the reason why the triple piston extender is that slow is because if it is faster then it will gonna mess up this uh, part of the block yeah it will mess up this part of the piston door because as you can see here these block are iron blocks uh, which can be stick to this yeah to the slam block and uh, it is not that great because this block in the middle right here will gonna stick out so yeah as you can see we have an a piston yeah sticky piston there to uh, push the block out here and retract it back so the reason why this triple piston extender is slow is because we need to wait for this to retract then we can uh, retract this part of the uh, yeah of the triple triple piston extender so yeah that is how and how the triple piston extender works all right all right okay so we were gonna explain all right so i'm gonna explain how the redstone works it is actually very uh, simple the only difficult part uh we're gonna be the uh, middle part or of the uh frame yeah of the piston though is controlled by this sticky piston so we just push block to uh yeah all the way in to create the frame the most complicated part is the middle uh, glass block part oops there we go um anyways uh, the most complicated part of the piston door will gonna be the glass block part and I want to make it uh, seamless so no piston or no redstone components uh, being exposed by the glass block all right so we're gonna explain let's just go from this lever so when you flick the lever as you can see here we have a double piston extender this double piston extender we're gonna push the glass block segment up so the glass block uh, segment the middle part of the piston door we're gonna have the glass block itself and another iron block underneath that glass block there as you can see uh, those two blocks will gonna be pushed up by the double piston extender here and on the top here we are gonna extend this sticky piston to push this block down by one and all of these sticky piston right here and here we're gonna push all of these block to create the full square and with the glass block in the middle we essentially created a uh, yeah a nice 3 by 3 voto with a glass block in the middle so yeah let's watch that as you can see this uh, glass block being pushed up by the double piston extender down here and all of the block yeah all the frame blocks here are being pushed by this um Stick a person like that for the uh, retraction it is uh, a lot more complicated but not too much more complicated I'm gonna explain uh, it a lot um, yeah as simply as possible okay so for the uh, opening of the piston door first we will gonna let's see here Mm, it's a little bit hard to see but there is a piston on top of this piston head and it is now extending yes as you can see there it is extending okay and when we uh, yeah, open the piston door the first thing that will gonna happen is that piston we're gonna retract we, and that piston after it retract this 
Take a person can now push the slam block segment down one block and uh, there is a sticker piston right there with an observer here that the slam block segment we're gonna go down one block then that sticker piston we're gonna uh, extend again because of the observer you're gonna extend pushing the glass here the glass block here one block further down into the floor and after that the whole slam block segment will gonna retract back into its uh, ready stage for the next extension but there is a problem and that is uh, the observer here because this ticket person push all of the slam block segment which also mean that these bl iron block here in the middle will be pushed down into here so and we cannot put a non-movable object there because if we put a non-movable object there uh, the sticky piston would not be able to push the whole slam block segment down so in order to push back the iron blocks uh, part here we need is a piston down here to push this iron block or the iron blocks up in order to uh, seal the uh, yeah to fill the gap that the observer creates and you can see this if you pay yeah if you pay attention to this side of the piston door so i will gonna slow the game down so you can see how the uh, yeah how the uh, pushing of the iron blocks really works okay so i'm gonna flick and we're gonna see that part okay so it is currently opening let's see all right and as you can see the iron block moves all of the iron block moves because of the observer right there and now the slam block segment we're gonna go yeah we, we're gonna retract like so and as you can see the uh, slam, you know, the iron blocks got pushed up again by this sticky piston right here, and after that, all of the uh, uh, the triple piston extender will gonna retract back. So yeah, that is how it opens. A little bit more complicated, but not too much. And I explain every uh, thing about this piston in a very simple form. If you want to know more about how the restaurant works, then let's get to the tutorial because that is the part that I will gonna explain a lot more deeply about how the restaurant works and also for you to build the piston door by yourself. Let's get to it. All right, it is the tutorial time. Because this piston door is so chunky, you need to prepare a very big area to build it so you need to prepare a nine blocks long five blocks wide and 11 blocks high area I have already prepared an area to build a piston door here indicated by the tinted glass all right so here's the piston door and we're gonna start from the lever and yeah let's get to it so first we are gonna pick the middle Go to the middle of the platform so here's the middle of the platform we're gonna place a piston and also here are all of the materials that you need in order to build this piston door well you don't need you don't actually need um, a stack of glass you only need one for the middle glass block of the piston door okay so get your piston and place it down like that as you can see it is uh, very similar all right let's get our lever and place it right here so here is where we're gonna activate the piston door this is the control lever which controls the opening and the closing of piston door okay so we're gonna get rest on torch and place it on both sides of the piston like that 
with another normal piston on top because well we don't actually need a the retraction for the double piston extender the triple piston extender here we're gonna push down all of the piston here back into it, its original position all right so now get two more piston and place it like that as you can see okay now we are gonna place in let's see here okay we are gonna place in two torch on this side and two torch on this side like that okay so we are gonna start with the uh, mo yeah the uh, first complicated part which is with the actual down part of this piston door okay so we're gonna get our circuit blocks out and place like that let's see if that is correct yeah okay it seems to be correct okay so we we're gonna um place two sticky piston here and we're gonna place in our yeah uh piston door blocks i use here iron blocks of course let's test it all right now we need is a way to power this piston and we can easily do that by placing a repeater there let's check if the repeater is there so i'm gonna check okay it is on the other side of the yeah of the machine all right okay what is next let's see okay so we are gonna go up like that okay so place a torch here another one like that with redstone torch like this is that correct let me check yes okay so we are gonna go in here and place a block there with sticky piston like that let's play it's in all of the sticky piston on this side like that then get the rest on dust place it like that to power all of the uh, sticky piston on that side what is next ah uh, yes this part this is the part that controls and push uh, the uh, iron blocks up when the observers here push all of the iron blocks down so let's do that we are gonna um let's see here place a sticky piston there with a resin dust on top of that sticky piston get your observer and place it like that and get a transparent block it can be anything uh, as long as it is transparent and redstone dust can be placed on it like that if, oh not a redstone dust but a repeater so a repeater set it on to footage like that let's see yes yes okay we are gonna place a block here with another so stick a piston there and we're gonna get an observer here with a block here and another torch with a piston let's see here okay so this part is a little bit different so let's remove that a uh, rest on touch and place a piston and a rest on touch like that okay let's get our blocks back out place two blocks like that rest on dust on top repeater set it on to let's see here oh okay 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 so it's not actually like that it is actually like this okay very interesting so block here and a sticky piston there 
let's check if the repeater timing act is correct okay so this one is a free ticks okay okay very nice uh let's see what is next okay 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 so we're gonna place in the repeater here with a block and uh, let's see i rest on touch there if i correct yes and okay we have successfully go through the one of the hardest part of the piston door which is the bottom we still have the top which is even more complicated but let's not worry about that okay so place a block here and place sticky piston again or of the sticky piston like that and let's go in and place rest on dust and block like that with sticky piston here and here for the uh, yeah middle block let's go in and place all of our iron blocks in aka piston door blocks like that and in the middle here we were gonna place in a block here and a glass block here very nice Okay, so we only have to do the top now. Let's check everything again to see if I built anything incorrectly. Okay, so I think we are good. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna go in here and place a normal piston to give the update for this observer. This observer gonna run into uh a dropper and this dropper we're gonna face directly into that dropper like that okay so now we are gonna place in our items which is the iron saw we oh the that wooden saw uh, and we uh, need the unstackable item in here okay so we you can't just use like stackable item you need to use unstackable item it can be uh, anything it can be a trident a shovel a minecart basically any items that cannot be stacked is fine because the unstackable items gives out a redstone signal of two which is just enough to reach the repeater here and here so yeah uh, unstackable items is needed for that okay so we're gonna finish the um, yeah the uh, the circuit here we're gonna place in uh, the glazed terracotta here you can use other block which doesn't stick to slam blocks of course so we are gonna place in oh one thing i, I have just noticed we don't actually need the glass terracotta here so you can remove uh, no replace these two glass terracotta with normal blocks like that so two terracotta a block is uh yeah can be removed from the uh item list okay what is next okay so well, we're gonna get our lowstone out you don't actually need to use lowstone again is just need to be blocks that aren't stick to um slam blocks so oh a uh, sticky piston there and another sticky piston here very nice so let's see let's remove that because we don't actually need that okay for um easier uh redstone uh, building we were gonna let's see yeah uh, we were gonna 
uh, yeah, open the piston door, okay, flick the lever, so we don't have any redstone signal in the system, and we will not gonna accidentally mess up anything, and have to rebuild. So we're gonna place in two sticker piston like this. Okay, yes, that is correct. And we were gonna place in these slum blocks in this formation. So two slum blocks like that, and another slum block here. And that slum block we're gonna stick into an observer like that. And over here we're gonna have a sticky piston like that. And that is the triple piston extender or finish. And another thing that I haven't explain but as you can see here the slum blocks can stick to the sticky piston here so in order to prevent that we have to do this uh, we have to uh, power these these two sticky piston and we were gonna activate this um, yeah triple piston extender after the triple thing extender has retract like this then we were gonna retract these two uh yeah these two piston which is controlled by this two repeater here okay so that is one thing i forgot to mention but now you know all right so i think this side is finished let's go to this side Okay, on this side, you need a, another transparent block here and a resin dust on top with, let's see here, a block here with a repeater. Let's see, I don't remember a lot. Okay, so uh, I don't remember the timing of the uh, repeater. It is really difficult to remember. So, okay, so. A repeater set on to full delay like that with a redstone torch a piston not like that a piston like this oh, it's really difficult to place resting component when you are on mobile device okay so piston and resting torch like that okay what is next we're gonna place in a dropper here with another dropper here and we were gonna get another glazed terracotta and place it here to prevent the block from sticking to the slump blocks like that and we're gonna place in a comparator there okay very nice what is next okay so we were gonna go in here place a block here with a repeater block and uh Let's see, block and block here. Rest on dust like that. And let's see here. Uh, let's see, let's see. We were gonna, okay, we were gonna place a rest on torch over here. Not a low stone, but a rest on torch. Then we we're gonna place in a glass block to, uh, not prevent this redstone dust from disconnecting to this redstone dust place a redstone dust there and another block here all right so that is the uh, redstone of that part complete let's continue place a, a block there with a repeater let's see if it has any delay yes full take delay full delight so tap it three times like that with a block here and in here you can use an unstackable items or a normal stackable items so let's go in here and place a sticky piston with an observer like this and we are gonna place in a hopper with to uh let's see here uh, with another observer and another hopper with two observers going into this block like that okay um okay let me check if that is 
all of the redstone complete mm, it seems to be that everything is in the right place so let's finish the piston door and see if it actually function so we're gonna place in all of the blocks let's do the floor the floor will gonna be like this then like this okay so on the top we are gonna place in an iron block here three iron blocks here block here block here and wait is, is that another block or let's see here okay block unmovable block in the middle or block that cannot be stick by uh, slam blocks in the middle so block here block here so, so let's uh, test it so closing closing is indeed functioning let's see the opening wow this is the first time i no, no it's not actually the first time but it happens quite rare that i built a very complicated piston door and it works the first time okay very nice and finally just fill in the in the frame so you don't have to look all of the ugly piston door uh, redstone components like that and we have ourselves a very nice yeah, a, a actually very nice uh, 3x3 three three, a Volto with a glass block in the middle yeah that could be a good name for the piston door a 3x3 three three Volto with a glass block in the middle yeah all right that is it for today a very fun piston door I uh, I really enjoy building this piston door so yeah if you also enjoy this piston door like I do then yeah leave a like of in the video so I know that you are yeah so I know that you like the uh, episode and if you want to see uh, more of this sort of uh, restaurant contraption piston door uh, farms and all of that good redstone stuff and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my episode all right that is it for today thank you for watching again and i will see you guys in the next episode of fun restaurant goodbye